So for one reason or another, I want to hotwire the motor on this Hoover washing machine. It's a HNL 2126, we've got a little fly there. If we turn it over on its side, you can get into the bottom and you can see the motor is a Sole, Sole Type 20584.418. There's all the details of that. In theory, you can go up to 17,000 RPM if it's hot wired. So, what I'm going to do is disconnect that connector block and try and wire it. And check out my other video for how to wire, how to hot wire a universal motor or how to wire a universal motor, a universal washing machine motor. I've posted a video on that and it shows the logic behind this. You'll have cables coming from the tachograph, that's the yellow in this case, you'll have them coming from the brushes which in this case is this blue one and there should be another one there, that red one. Uh, so what else is there? There's only four cables so then the other two, the grey and the white, come from the windings inside. So what we do is we put the power into a brush and then from the other brush we use a little jumper cable which is like this. It's just a piece of wire with a connector on each end to jump from the other brush to a winding and then from the other winding we connect to the neutral or live. Jump this link from the winding, from the brush to the winding and then power in and out from the other two. We just ignore the tackle connectors altogether. Why is that not sticking? It's quite an odd one this because usually you see the tackle on each end rather than in the centre, but that's just how it is in this case. Or sometimes at the end you'll have the earth and the tackle. Is this going to go in? Come on, there we go. So if I plug that in, it should just go, whoa, really fast. So without further ado, let's try that. The bearings are shot on this, so it could do all sorts of things. I don't really want that cable rubbing off the off the belt. Oh, come on. Let me just take it as it is. Go. No, no dice. That's not working. So it turned out we had a dud fuse in the, in the plug, and that's fixed now, and it should just go. Oh dear, that sounds absolutely terrible. Okay, um, that's how you do it. There's the arrangement if you want to see it again. Live neutral on the right, in this case, taco in the middle and a jumper cable on the left. Into a brush, jumping from the other brush to a winding and then the other winding going out. But check out my other video, I explain it much better with diagrams and whatnot. So let's uh, stay tuned for more videos of washing machine destruction. Any questions or comments leave them below. I'm not able to figure out the wiring and pin out on your washing machine, so you've got to figure it out yourself. Check out my other videos, I'll answer any questions that I can. Thanks for watching, see you later.